welcome to another episode of On the Couch with McNeil Real Estate. My name's Janet and today I'm delighted to welcome Derry from Learn How to Photograph, providing photography training to photographers or budding photographers on the Mornington Peninsula. So welcome Derry. Thanks Janet, thanks for having me. It's a real pleasure. Now Derry, tell us a little bit about yourself and your background. Okay, so I've, um, I've been, lived on the peninsula pretty much all, all my life. Mm -hmm. Went to Osborne Primary, Mornington Secondary, so I've been okay. here for a long time. Yep. Um, but I've been a photographer um, since 1985. I worked for a, uh, a well-known photographer now mm -hmm. on the Mornington Peninsula, just in the Photoshop. Okay. Um, and if people remember, it's Morgan and Raw Pharmacy. And I was happy just to work there and yep. and just sell cameras and mm -hmm. film. And the, mm -hmm. and the, uh, the other photographer that was there was just starting out, was double booked for a wedding one one yep. time and he said look leave it with me I know someone who'll do it and I'm saying no I'm not, <laughs> I am not doing no. weddings not weddings <laughs> not no. weddings but I did and that was 30 years ago so and you um, haven't looked I, back no I'm glad yep. I've finished with weddings yep um but I'm, I'm loving teaching, really yeah. loving teaching. Fantastic. Yeah. No, that's brilliant. Now, as you say, you've lived on the Mornington Peninsula most of your life. So what do you love most about the peninsula? Uh, just the lifestyle. Mm. I mean, it's grown a lot, obviously, since, yes. since you know. In the 80s, yes. Well, before. I've been here since, yeah, the 70s. So it's grown a lot. Yes. Um, and it's probably a little bit too busy for me now. Yes. But um, the lifestyle, you can't, I couldn't not live by the beach. Yep. No, yeah. that's brilliant. And we've got front beaches, back beaches, I know, all we're so kinds. Lucky. It's, yeah, yeah, it's all and just right there. It yep. is. And we're so lucky in yes. the sense that it is one of the few places in Australia where yes. you can go to one side of the peninsula yes. and get the sun rising over the water for the shot yep. and then go to the other side of the peninsula and get the sun setting because yes. normally, you know, you're either on the east coast or the west coast and yes. you don't get it setting on both sides yeah. of the water. And it's water. on the same day. Yeah, that's right. We're so <laughs> lucky. So get up, go and have a, a quick photo shoot in the morning relax and then go yeah, and do the evening exactly. one as well yep. and then of course you've also got uh, astro photography and so forth where you go to the bottom of the peninsula and and do nighttime that's photos. right so, yeah you need yeah. to be away from light pollution so yep. you've got to be um, somewhere fairly dark so mm -hmm. Gunnamatta, Flinders yep. down that way you can get away from all of that yep. light pollution and yep. and try and capture those yep. uh, stars yeah that's brilliant yeah. that's brilliant so we love the Mornington Peninsula so Derry how long has Learn How to Photograph been in business? Not long about Five years, I think we're in our all? fifth year, so yeah, not right. long at all. I actually work at a local um, secondary college. I'm actually mm -hmm. a career practitioner, that's what I do full time. Okay, yep. um, But I, uh, I do a lot of photography work at the school, I right. do all of our yearbook and all the photographs and the day in the life yes. of, oh. and we use those photos. Our principal um, sees the value of yes. photography and how it promotes business, and so yes. he sort of gives me anything I want to, <laughs> you know, Cameras, laptops, yep. whatever. Oh wow! How, how Apple good computers. is that? <laughs> yeah, it's great. Um, and so, about five years ago, I had a couple of staff say to me, "Can you teach me how mm -hmm. to use my camera?" And I just sort of kept ignoring them, and well, not ignoring them. I just didn't have time to do it. Yep. Um, and then they kept asking me, two or three of them, and I thought, "Oh, well, I'll I'll just send out a DL yep. to all the staff and see if anybody wants to learn how to photograph." Yep. And I thought, you know, I'll, I'll get those three teachers lucky. that yep. asked me. Mm -hmm. um, but I had 15 staff members turn up for that, that one session and I thought, gosh, oh, maybe there's something, there's something about that. here. Yep. Yep. So I, I went home and started up a Facebook page and we, we've just, we originally started with beginner learn how to photograph mm -hmm. and we've just added workshops and classes yep. and now we travel, you know, and do photography yes. trips and tours yes. for a week and yep. we're about to go off to... Um, Tasmania for a week and take yep. a few people down there. We went to the South Island in New Zealand last year and, wow. and took a group of people down there. And it, it really is a true startup yes. business. There's a there's been well a niche done. and yep. and we've and you've filled seen it, it which and you've is filled great. It. Yeah, yeah, which is fantastic. Yeah. And that kind of brings me to um, one of the questions I was going to ask you is: you do do workshops? Are they only on the peninsula or whereabouts? Oh, uh, we'll pretty them? much go anywhere. I mean, yep. I, you know, we go. Um, obviously to New Zealand and Tassie um, but we also do city excursions mm -hmm. up to Melbourne is so iconic and you know there's so many great places yes. to photograph the laneways and yes 
you know, Flinders Street and yes. the, the Princess Bridge, like you could dock lands. We're so yep. lucky with Melbourne. We, we could spend yes. the whole day there. So we do Melbourne excursions. Yep. Uh, Melbourne Zoo, we go to the Melbourne Zoo and photograph one. the animals and you, you've done that <laughs> one that as well. One. <laughs> that was awesome. Um, but look, if I had more time, we yeah. would just do, do more. Do it full time. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. and you know, that that is the five year plan, I okay. guess, in the end is to yep. eventually do it. Do it full, full time. time. Yeah. yeah. That's brilliant. Yeah. That's great. So, um, who actually, well, we, we've kind of touched on why you started the business, but who is your ideal client? Oh, look, anybody really. I've taught um, uh, young people kids, you know, 12 and 10 year olds, and, and obviously it's age appropriate learning for them. Mm -hmm. um, but I guess our demographic for our, our beginner class, which is our, yep. by far and away, our most popular, popular. class. Mm -hmm. Our demographic is generally women, 80% <laughs> women, and, and In over that 45, yep. Up to 75, 80. When we went to New Zealand, we took away um, a couple who were in their uh, mid-70s. And, in fact, she she had a bungee ball. jumped. When we stopped at the bungee jumping to practice our auto-focusing techniques, oh. she said, oh, bungee jump. And we all went, God, you're oh, mad, but my. let's photograph you. Yeah, yeah so, brilliant. You know, brilliant. it really is that sort of older demographic. Yeah. But we do get, you know, your, your Generation X and your yes. Generation Ys popping yep. in as well. So. Yep. Yep. Yeah, no, that's fantastic. Big diversity. Yeah. So where do you hold most of your actual training? Because I think, um, like, as I say, I've been on a couple of workshops, so I know you do in the field, in the classroom. How does all that work? Where do you hold them? Yeah, so we have two hour outdoor workshops, so they are hands-on, mm -hmm. but um, our intermediate class and our beginners class, four sessions of our beginner class is held in the classroom because mm -hmm. there is technical language wrapped around photography. Yes. Um, and I'm a real visual person and yes. and most of my my students, students um, are visual learners as yeah. well. So we need to be in a classroom. We can be sort of condensed in one spot. And we've got a studio at Rosebud, mm -hmm. um, which is fantastic. And uh, and we just concentrate on one thing each week. And then yes. the last session is two hours outside over sunset yep. to put all of those things we've learned in the classroom into practice. Mm -hmm. Or if you just didn't get it in the classroom, <laughs> you'll get it at it's the a sunset refresher. class. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, because and I think um, I know sort of one of the things that you're always um, drumming into people, and I. I always remember whenever I'm out taking a photo, I think, now, what would Derry think of this? What would Derry think of this? Um, light. How important is light? Oh, it is the most important thing. And, you know, you, you really don't have to learn anything technical. It, mm. You don't have to learn anything. There's a formula for learning specific photographic skills. Mm -hmm. And in our beginners, I can teach you how the formula for that. And mm -hmm. you don't need to know anything else. But what you do need to understand is light. Yes. And, and I didn't understand light when I was first photographing 30 years ago doing wedding yes. photos yep. I just was told to use the flash use the flash use the flash and and this was back in the film day so you didn't know what your photographs were like until I was going to ask you about film like until a week later film. Yeah. <laughs> you um, took one photo hope for the best oh, exactly and, yeah. and you know I really was it was weddings were formulaic it was just put your camera on this you always use your flash and yep. this is the formula you follow for the setups and then one time my flash didn't go off and when the photos eventually came back I was just flicking through them you know they just didn't grab me no the photos never grabbed me and I didn't know why yep and then I stopped at this one photograph where the flash hadn't gone off right and I looked at it and I said to Glenn why does this photo look differently and mm. he said because the flash didn't go off but thank goodness you've used the flash in the next one and it's gone off because I realized yes. the flash hadn't gone off yes so I retook that photograph and I just really loved yes. this photograph without the flash. And right. so I thought, right, that's got me interested in photography. This is, you know, this is what, this is the difference between natural light and flashlight. Yes. And so from then, mm -hmm. I just, I, I just made sure that I always put my um, clients where there was natural light and yes. the photographs improved. Yes. You know, 100%. Yes. And so then I really started to hone my light-seeking skills. And it, yes. some people naturally see light and some people take a little bit longer, 30 years, to find <laughs> light. <laughs> but, um, 
But I really do think that that is my strength. It's yes. it's mastering light, and for, yes. and that's the one thing I drum into yes. everyone. Yes, <laughs> I know. <laughs> if you get the light right, you yeah. can take the most yeah incredible yeah. thing and turn it into yeah. something special. If yes. the light the light is right. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, I've, as I say, I've been watching your um, students when you post on Facebook what your yeah. students have done, and oh my goodness, the I photos know. they've produced. Are just incredible. I, I, yep. It just blows me away, and yep. and I think that's what it is about the um, the teaching that I love, yeah. because it, when I did wedding photos, you know, I wasn't overly, you know, I was fine when I was doing it. Don't get me wrong, I <laughs> love doing your wedding photos, but the joy was when they came back yeah. and picked up their photos, and yes. they loved them. And they that, saw that's what, what I was loved. produced. Their, yes. their happiness. Yes. And so when I can teach somebody who comes into um, one of my beginner classes who says, I am dumb, I'm a stupid yep. photographer, this is me, I'm useless, and I go, it's not <laughs> you, it's the camera. It's, you just need to know yeah, how to, how to, use, how to it. use it. Yeah. And the joy that they get yep. when they photograph, yep. you know, a f and then take a photo that they love, that they never thought they'd ever be able to photograph, yep. um, that's what gives me joy. And, yep. and they all share it with me. Damn Absolutely. Look what I, I, know. I love it. I love it. Yeah, so yeah. our page is, yeah. our Facebook page is about the students. Yes, it is. Yeah, yep. I've seen that. Yeah, no, that's brilliant. So what actually um, is involved in working with you and sort of what programs do you currently run? So um, we've got... Uh, our, our studio at, in Rosebud is where mm -hmm. we hold all our classes and, and our workshops um, yep. out of that. But everything you find on our uh, Facebook page or our, yep. our um, website, which mm -hmm. is www.lhtp.com.au. Yep. And all our classes you can book there. We pretty much try and get a full year's um, right. classes up and running. Up front, yep. Um, but I you know, often get requests from people. Some people, there's a few people who want me to do an <laughs> astro class, so I yes. need to try okay. and book. Let me know when it is. I will. <laughs> uh, and the problem is, as we're getting closer to summer, yeah. astrophotography will be happen. two o'clock in the morning. Yes. So yep. that's okay. I'm, I'm yep. okay with that. We just have a little bit of a nap and yeah. then we get up. <laughs> then we go, yep. But um, everything pretty much for the year is, is done a year in advance. Right. Yep. Okay. So the easiest thing for people to do is jump on your website or your Facebook page yep. and just see what's there and then just basically um, book online. Book online. Yep. Okay, that makes it really, really to easy. Pay by, it's pay with PayPal. Okay, because that yeah. was my next question was how can people access your services and how do they find you? So all online, yep. see what the courses are, book in. If they've got a query on a particular course, they're not just sure what's involved, email. just contact you. Yep. yep, that's fantastic. So, Derry, what do you do when you're not working? Um, I just relax <laughs> and... <laughs> I, I go out and photograph, so, yeah. <laughs> but not always. I'll, it's all about the light, Janet. And I, I can take my <laughs> camera out. I've got up at five o'clock in the yep. morning, you know, with every intention to go and do a sunrise. And yep. if it's not happening, if yep. the light's not there, I just won't just photograph. Don't. I just yeah. don't take a photograph. Yep. Um, so, you know... The first 10,000 photos are the hardest. <laughs> After that, it's the rest. Oh, okay. I think I'm up to about 9,000, so I'm getting there. You are there. I've seen your work. It's fantastic. So just um, a quick question while I think about it. What actually is your favourite subject, I guess, to photograph? Yeah, good question. I... Um, I was really into landscapes mm. um, and I still do love landscapes, but not the bigger picture landscapes yes. anymore. Inside every big photograph, there's yes. a medium photograph, and inside that medium photo, there's a small photo, and inside that small photo, there's a tiny photo. You really have to train yep. your eyes to see every single photograph in a scene. Yep. Um, I just love photographing flowers. I, I yes. know that sounds daggy. And when I worked in the Photoshop <laughs> and the old people, I'm sorry, older people, but they used to bring <laughs> photos of their plants in, yeah. and I used to, because when they picked up their photos, you just had to go through their yeah, photos with them to make sure. sure it was theirs. Yep. And there'd be photo of plant after yep. plant. And yep. I said to myself, I am oh, never, never photographing plants when I get older. Yep. But I love them. I love, <laughs> I love nature's perfect little yep. flowers. And because it's spring, it's perfect. Yep. So I kind of will photograph anything. Yep. I, I love travel photography. I yep. love, I'm getting into bird, bird, yep. bird photography. But... You know, I want to photograph a big bird of prey. Yeah. And oh, I've me just too. Bought, yeah, yes. a beautiful big lens yes. for that. So yes. anything, animals, I just, I love anything. Yep. But it really is, like I say, 
learning how to see those yes. pictures, finding yep. the picture, and, and we are so used to just seeing the big picture. The whole, yes, You've just true. got to train your eye right down and, yep. and start look, start seeing, not just looking, but yes. seeing what's there. Yep, yep. No, that sounds fantastic. Yeah. Now, Derry, you brought a couple of cameras with you. Could you tell me about the old camera? Yeah, so this is a, a, a rolly cord. This is my, my dad, who is 87 now. Wow. Um, one of the old people. One of the old, beautiful <laughs> old people. And he was a professional photographer too, so he, he used to photograph um, his Irish and he used to photograph at the Irish... Um, dancers in Manchester. Oh, uh, he used to go there and photograph the couples there and that's where he met mum. Um, and so thankfully, I'm so thankful yes. that he kept uh, yes. his camera and I actually didn't know, I actually thought I had his camera because I've got another one of these at home. But I went to mum and dad's about two or three months ago and mum said, oh, while your father's not watching, yeah. here, do you want these cameras? Yeah. And she went to the top of the cupboard and she pulled out one of his more recent 35 mil cameras, right. yep. film cameras, yep. which is still probably 40 or 50 years old. And yep. then she pulled out this little and gem just, and wow. I just love it. It's got the Art Deco covering. It's about 1932, which would have been old when he bought it, old and daggy when he bought it, but it's old and antique now. So yeah, um, I have it on display it's, in the studio. That's a real treasure. Yeah, yeah, real yeah it treasure. is. No, that's wonderful. But my son and his wife um, are both successful professional wedding and okay. portrait photographers as well doing really right. well yeah, so it really is all in the it family, is in, the family. Yeah, for <laughs> in the blood yeah <laughs> so i wonder if that'll happen to some of your students well it already has happened yep. like i know because people still contact me and say yep. can you come and photograph i need somebody yep. to do a portrait or cover my brother's son's wedding or right. whatever and i'm just i'm just not interested in that yep. at all yep um, and I've, I've handballed a few of those jobs to some really good, confident Great. beginner students Great. that I've gone on to do, you yep. know, a high level qualification in yep. photography. Okay. So That's I know fantastic. a few people are making money in, out of photography and, yep. and I am always going to claim yeah, they are of course. mine. They started with me. <laughs> Definitely. <Yeah. laughs> Without Derry, it wouldn't be happening. That's right. <laughs> no, that's fantastic. So thank you for joining us, Derry. It's been Thanks, a fantastic been time having a chat with you. Wonderful. And um, that concludes another episode of On the Couch with McNeil Real Estate. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.